uh, thanks much uh, for your kind introduction shatapida so today uh, i'll be speaking about uh, uh, next to minimal supersymmetric standard model uh, uh, i'll mainly talk about uh, uh, the new avenues beyond mssm so uh, okay let us uh, let me proceed okay so here the uh, uh, outline uh, of my talk is as follows so uh, i uh, i plan to discuss about few facts and promises of uh, next to mssm mainly focusing on the z3 invariant uh, in mssm so first of all i will speak about uh, the origin of new term i mean which is one of the prime motivation for considering uh, uh, next uh, mssm and it uh, automatically invites uh, uh, a new singlet scalar in the uh, as a chiral superfield so as a, as a result we will have inlet scalar and uh, fermion sector and that essentially gives in new uh, signatures uh, uh, in the context uh, in new phenomenological signatures uh, which uh, i will be uh, discussing in this talk and uh, then of course this requires uh, uh, to discuss about uh, the present status and future prospects uh, of uh, this specific nmssm like scenarios so uh, mainly i will focus uh, on this uh, singlet sector of nmssm okay so in this talk i will not talk about uh, any anything uh, related to cp violations or neutrinos uh, and neutrinos uh, so i believe that uh, last topic will be covered by uh, pradeep So um, uh, and uh, these are again uh, interesting areas in the context of supersymmetry. So and uh, uh, for earlier references and details, uh, I refer uh, this uh, nice review by uh, Elwanger et al. Uh, so uh, here you will get all the details necessary. So uh, uh, so first of all, um, uh, now uh, if um, uh, we we know that uh, the supersymmetric parameter space is, is extremely constrained. Uh, so for mass of the blue and uh, uh, quarks, first specifically the first two generation quarks should be uh, uh, should lie above two uh, TeV range, and similarly this tops, bottom, and uh, charginos, uh, like the charginos and uh, neutralinos, uh, should be uh, well. Above uh, 800 uh, J or so, and similarly, this is the value for leptons. So again, this is a kind of parameter space dependent, but uh, uh, we must say uh, that uh, with the parameter space below 1 TeV uh, is uh, now getting uh, um, extremely constrained uh, by uh, supersymmetric searches. And there is another interesting thing, which is uh, the standard model like Higgs boson. So we know that uh, the, the discovery of uh, Higgs boson is almost uh, standard model like uh, uh, in um, specifically its uh, couplings to third generation fermions or vector bosons are um, rather tightly constrained and uh, have already been measured within 10 to 20 percent of standard model prediction at the LHC. So though the, the its coupling to first two generations uh, can Vary a little bit and uh, and is much more uh, relaxed, I would say. So there, one can have a non-standard model like uh, couplings. So, uh, but as a uh, but what I could uh, say that in any supersymmetric standard model, one has to accommodate this 125 GeV scalar with uh, almost standard model like couplings. So now, what happens in MSSM? So this is the MSSM superpotential, uh, where uh, the last term is of particular importance, as uh, that would invite uh, the next to minimal supersymmetric standard model. This mu term, uh, mu h u h d term. So these are the Higgs doublets, and uh, in MSSM, uh, one would have uh, five physical states, out of which two CP even Higgs bosons, one pseudo scalar, and one uh, charge scalar. Okay. Uh, so uh, and here in the MSSM, uh, one would have uh, two uh, uh, in the Higgs sector two parameters which can be uh, uh, MA and tan beta, which is the tan beta is the ratio of the vacuum expectation values of the up type and uh, down type Higgs scalar. And uh, what is the the important point is that here the uh, MA the lightest uh, standard model like Higgs boson mass is basically bounded from the J boson mass. So in order to have a 125 GeV Higgs scalar, one Has to uh, uh, one has to consider a large one loop corrections or uh, or two loop corrections. I mean, in order to push the Higgs boson mass at 125 GeV 
uh, value. So, and the, this loop corrections are governed by this large mix, either by the mixing parameter or uh, this uh, average value of the stop scale. So, uh, basically, it requires either large mass splitting between top and stop or stop one, stop two. So, either it requires a large uh, bear mass square parameter or large tri linear coupling. So, it basically renders little fine tuning problem in the MSSM. Now, what will happen in the NMSSM? So in the NMSSM, the mu the mu term in the MSSM, uh, it's a uh, it's a supersymmetry preserving term. But uh, for uh, for for a consistent phenomenology, one requires that its value should be of the order of supersymmetry breaking scale. So roughly of the order of PEV scale. So why being a supersymmetry preserving parameter, its mass should be of the order of PEV scale. This is the so-called mu problem, and it can be solved if one introduce an additional singlet super field in the uh, uh, in, in the MSSM particle content. So basically, one has to replace this mu term uh, with this uh, uh, lambda s h u h d, and once this uh, scalar component of this singlet uh, super field acquires a wave, one could get a mu term uh, of the order of supersymmetry m suzy scale. So so this is how basically mu term is mu problem is tackled in the next to minimal supersymmetric standard model, and this is the simplest suzy model with m suzy as the only scale in the Lagrangian. Now, one can easily see that here we are basically accommodating one sing extra singlet scalar superfield. Okay, so it can only have leave its footprints in the neutral scalar sector and as well as in the neutral fermion sector. So, let us uh, look into that uh, part. I mean, uh, what are the uh, new degrees of freedom in the scalar sector and in the fermion sector? So, uh, 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 one can see so this uh, the uh, Z3 invariant uh, NMSSM superpotential. This is uh, uh, so the this is the first two terms of the new additions. So, uh, um, and so as a result, one would have uh, three CP even Higgs bosons. Here, H1 or H2 can be the lightest uh, CP even Higgs boson, which can be the standard model like, and two pseudo scalar uh, Higgs bosons, A1. Sometimes we will refer it as uh, AS, that means singlet like CP pseudo scalar Higgs boson, which is uh, particularly uh, very uh, interesting. And it could uh, lead to some interesting phenomena. And uh, the heavier pseudo scalar Higgs boson, uh, uh, mostly it will be the MSSM like uh, sometimes we will refer it by A. And similarly, one pair of charge scalar, uh, uh, charge uh, Higgs boson, H plus minus. In the neutral in the sector, first four are the just MSSM uh, neutral fermions. The uh, single is the new, uh, uh, new component, which we have to consider in the NMSSM. Now in the, uh, so basically I will focus on this uh, uh, dark matter part, I mean, and also the, this Higgs sector uh, in, this, uh, in the NMSSM as these, are, uh, these sectors mainly uh, um, uh, contain the distinguishing uh, or, or, uh, or different signatures uh, than the, what MSSM usually uh, uh, offers. So the Higgs sector of the NMSSM at the tree level is described by these six parameters. So lambda kappa, a lambda a kappa, they are specifically NMSSM like uh, input parameters and mu tan beta and of course mz is there. So three minimization equations of the scalar potential are used to replace three Suzy breaking mass squared for H U H D S in terms of uh, mu tan beta and mz. In the NMSSM at the tree level, uh, so the, the standard model like Higgs boson mass, one can uh, see that it it uh, it include or it uh, it uh, contains a new term, this uh, second term, lambda square v square uh, this sine square two beta term. So uh, because of this term, now at a tree level, Higgs boson mass acquires a large um, uh, 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 significant corrections uh, to the tree level mass value. So as a result, one does not have, have the, the tree level. So one can push the Higgs boson mass even at the tree level. So, so the MH1 uh, or uh, standard model Higgs boson mass 125 jeb does not here require large unnatural radiative corrections. So this is what another interesting uh, motivation uh, for uh, for considering NMSSM. So now uh, let us first uh, uh, look into the few facts actually. Uh, so it was the model was uh, getting very popular even pre LIC era. Eh? So what are those reasons? First of all, it preserves all the successes of MSSM like 
gauge coupling unification radiative electric symmetry reacting dark matter etc now there was a, 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 the model was particularly interesting um, uh, uh, just uh, before 10 or 15 years ago the reason was that that time uh, the we know that higgs limit uh, was 114 jp so uh, but uh, so uh, that lip search is basically focused on this age going to bb bar or tau tau mode uh, now what happens in this case this uh, higgs boson now can decay uh, to uh, to uh, lighter singlet like pseudo scalars that means what i mean to say here uh, the singlet uh, the pseudo scalar singlet like pseudo scalar could have mass uh, like uh, uh, from 10 to let's say 100 gel so this uh, standard model like higgs boson can decay into two pseudo scalars and this pseudo two pseudo scalars can further decay into the four fermion final states or two fermion two gamma final states and if i mean and this is the reason why uh, how one can accommodate a lighter uh, uh, higgs boson and uh, so uh, even which is uh, uh, lower than i mean having value, uh, mass values lower than 114 j so that's why it was extremely interesting um, uh, at that period of time so a light pseudo scalar here uh, often we will talk about this light pseudo scalar i mean whose mass value can be from a uh, few gb to uh, up to 100 GV or so. So it can be completely natural in NMSSM it, because it can be regarded as the pseudo number Goldstone boson of a, some of some broken E1 R symmetry. Now, for a very light pseudo scalar, let's say a few GV from uh, uh, one to let's say 10 GV, there is a constant coming from the radiative upsilon decays. And uh, this has been uh, searched by a B factories at that time, and which put severe constraints on the parameter space uh, at that time. So, similarly, uh, probably at 10, 15 or 20 years ago, uh, a few groups uh, were interested to uh, search for the light neutral you know, masses. You know, even in that, uh, that time, Time. So MSSM was like neutral in a dark matter in MSSM was completely ruled out because of uh, flavor physics constraints. Uh, but because here uh, the thing what we found that a light neutral you know could easily accommodate uh, uh, dark matter relic density via S channel lightest uh, lightest CP or Higgs scalar exchange, and also because it's a singlet like the flavor physics constraints and uh, those can be also uh, satisfied. So that's why the and also this light pseudo I mean this lightest light neutral you know dark matter was that time very interesting because to to explain this gamma or cogent anomaly. So uh, there is another interesting avenue in this anime system because. Uh, the, because of the singlet admis, admixture, the Higgs scalar, uh, partial width of the Higgs scalar to the BB bar or tau tau bar would get reduced. Huh? And so as a result, Higgs to gamma gamma can be enhanced. And also here is a new contribution which comes via the lighter charge you know, exchange in the triangle loop. So as a result, Higgs to gamma gamma branching ratio is now uh, larger than uh, the, the MSSM, uh, uh, MSSM uh, values. Okay. And also the collider and uh, uh, so uh, start uh, so uh, also what we found uh, so here the so uh, the uh, the uh, the parameter space where uh, what we found that the lsp in the mssm now uh, can be can be regarded as the next to lightest supersymmetric particle in the nmssm and here that nlsp can decay to a lsp plus something i mean for example dino can be regarded as the in most most of the part of the parameter space you know, can be regarded as the LSP in MSSM. Now, in the NMSSM, what we could have, we could have Bino you know, as the NLSP and Singlino as the LSP. Singlino you know, can be very light because it's a because of its singlet component, it can evade all sorts of detection. And as a result, what we, what we have, this additional decay of NLSP will now generally reduce the missing energy and also it can lead to more jets or leptons. So it affects the efficiencies of various in the various such channels uh, for supersymmetry. Now, what happens in the post LIC era? So now we know that there are two ways to accommodate 125 GV Higgs boson. One is decoupling and another is alignment domain. So in the decoupling area, so all heavier Higgs boson mass has to be, uh, has to have to assume really large values that the mixing with the standard model like Higgs boson can be made very small. Or what happens in the alignment domain? In the alignment, the parameters of the Higgs sector are such that the mixing terms of the squared mass matrix between the standard model like Higgs boson and the neutral and non-standard model like and the singlet like Higgs scalars are tiny. 
So this is so-called Higgs basis because only one of the Higgs doublet acquires a wave here. Unlike H U and H D, what happens? I mean, they assume a wave, but we, we can simply rotate the basis so that uh, here only one of the doublet acquires a wave and and hence it is aligned to the standard model Higgs doublet. So what happens? So this is the symmetric mass matrix in that basis, in the Higgs basis. And the alignment condition is that this M1 square 1, 2, and M square 1, this should be very tiny, should be very small, so that, that uh, the standard model Higgs boson mass square is just the M11 square. So it's just 125 J square. So this is what happens in the NMSSM actually. So we can go move to uh, this basis, uh, the HDR, HUR, SR basis to uh, this prime basis which uh, via rotation in the doublet sector and this is basically and there we find that uh, uh, it's almost diagonal and finally after the final diagonalization we can have a standard model like Higgs scalar we can have a dominantly singlet like Higgs scalar and a MSSM like Higgs scalar and HS the, after final diagonalization this HS picks up couplings to the gauge bosons which is proportional to the H primes, I mean, uh, just mixing between the uh, standard H prime, uh, standard model and S prime mixing. Actor. So now, uh, so let us look at more uh, uh, for a quantitative picture, what we can have. So we just, we have just written that uh, the one, one element in the prime uh, mass square, uh, M square uh, uh, prime uh, one, one element. So this is the uh, standard NMSSM, first two terms of the standard uh, NMSSM like uh, the three level contribution and third term is the radiative correction. Now, so the point is that what we are claiming that in the alignment domain, one could, one could easily have a 125 GeV Higgs boson, right? So how it happens? So so for 10 beta less than six and uh, lambda less than 0.7 or 0.8, one could what one could have? Uh, I mean, one could easily assume lambda uh, two or so, but then one has to uh, one hits a Landau singularity even below mg so uh, guard scale so uh, one believes that so if one restricts um, uh, uh, in this in this value of the lambda lam, uh, so uh, then what what one finds that uh, the three level contribution is uh, 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 so three level contribution in um, uh, its boost um, boosted and uh, one does not uh, require much uh, uh, larger values for the radiative coming from the radiative correction in order to push the higgs boson mass and then on the left hand side plot what we have plotted you can easily see if the xt is zero that means the mixing in the stop sector is zero and or xt is m is just the average value of the stop mass scale square root of average value of the stop mass scale if these are small even then one could easily have the higgs boson mass 125 j and the tan beta is very i mean really small over here and so and susie's i mean average value of the ms which is the average uh, square root of average value of the stop mass scale which is not very large over here so one could easily have 125 JV heat scale. And there is also okay. another domain. Mm -hmm. So this is called a mixing, I mean, large mixing domain. So if, so the if there is a singlet scalar whose, whose mass value is uh, less than 125 j then it uh, one can see that that because via this mixing h prime in the uh, h prime standard model and s prime so uh, so one can have a uh, reasonable boost uh, in, the, in the in the in the for the uh, for the standard model like higgs boson mass so the, so uh, i mean so either one has to uh, go to the uh, large lambda and small tangent beta domain to in order to raise the higgs boson mass or one can uh, rely upon uh, the mixing scenarios singlet doublet mixing scenarios and it can also give a positive boost to the standard model like higgs boson mass if specifically the thing if the singlet scalar if, uh, mass of the mass value of the singlet scalar is lying below the 125 jeff so now uh, one can basically characterize the NMSSM contribution. Uh, NMSSM contribution. So uh, so because I, I don't have much time. So anyway, so this NMS, uh, NMSSM contribution to the um, uh, scalar masses, so uh, which uh, can be characterized by uh, MSM, HSM, which is just a standard model like Higgs scalar mass for a specific NMSSM point. And this is uh, la the second second um, uh, entity, MA standard model, which lambda 
like upper 10 into 0 and 10 beta 40, which is just like the is value in the MS system. Okay, lambda upper 10 into 0, it gives you uh, the mass value uh, at the in MS system, and 10 beta 40 is basically maximizing that three level contribution. Huh? So uh, uh, that's why it is tangent beta equal to 40 has been assumed. Okay, so uh, it can also uh, because it in uh, uh, the bottom. Uh, I have 10 minutes. You have about seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then I have to go to the result. So it can it can also reduce the fine tuning problem as I have discussed because it does not require much larger values of the uh, masses, uh, uh, stop masses and uh, uh, coupling. So little fine tuning problem is reduced in the NMS system. But coming to the result section. So uh, uh, so as I said earlier, so standard model like Higgs boson can decay into the uh, uh, via pseudoscalar extension for fermions or for gamma state. So let us first consider the 2b2 mu uh, final state. And here one can see that it was on the left hand side, it was the earlier plot and the right hand side, it was the new plot and very recent plot. So the Atlas reports uh, exists at a diamond invariant mass 52 JF. So which I mean, significance is not uh, much that is true, but at least 50 39 events were reported after BDT selection is applied. Okay, but uh, if we, uh, but again, there is a catch. So, uh, because no significant deviation was uh, uh, found if one uh, considered the four gamma channel. Okay. Now coming uh, to the singlet scalar searches, Higgs searches. So, uh, so here I have just so this on the left hand side you can see the plot uh, which has been taken from this paper, and one can see that um, uh, so this gray or blue region is the, the, uh, the singlet doublet mixing scenarios which basically push the, stand, uh, the standard model like Higgs boson mass. Eh? So the, this region, this particular large mixing region, can be probed if this cross section. Uh, uh, of gg going to hs to 2 gamma uh, so is if it is 20 20 fm to 1 if uh, one could uh, reach this uh, values of cross section and then probably one can uh, one can find or one can um, uh, one can one can try to constrain this part of the parameter space where singlet scalar is lying between 188 j to 102 j and okay so, and there is again some kind of hints uh, in this mass region. Okay. So, on the right hand side, as we can see, so uh, on all left hand side, both ways. So, if you see that one can see that there is some excess in the at the 96 J uh, in that two into two gamma uh, channel. Okay. So, again, the, this uh, region basically coincides with the uh, two excess uh, 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 in the BB bar final state at LEP. This was termed as LEP uh, LIC inclusive. Uh, region and it was uh, investigated earlier by these people and again the the, the point is that uh, the, this low mass uh, search region diphoton decay region okay um, uh, but uh, it was looked by atlas people but uh, they did not find any significant uh, uh, excess but recently what i found that at 140 400 jeff again there was some excess was reported in the tt bar and tau tau bar final state first one was using the first year run of run to data and second one the atlas uh, full run to data and these guys have written this paper daisy group has written a paper recently and similarly, there is another way to probe this singlet Higgs from the cascade because of MSSM like Higgs scalar. So, uh, the, what I mean, the important point is that the, if H is if H is the MSSM Higgs scalar, so uh, it can effectively decay to standard model like Higgs boson and the singlet scalar eh, with a uh, significantly large branching fraction. Okay, so if it decays in such a way, then it turns out that the MSSM like Higgs boson mass, which is basically the constraint from his uh, searches, search strategies into the tau tau bar uh, final state, that can be relaxed a bit. And uh, this, uh, in fact, uh, uh, this uh, cascade because uh, of uh, uh, heavier Higgs boson to uh, singlet like scalar has been uh, thoroughly studied by many groups. Uh, which I have uh, written in the uh, in below. Uh, so uh, and uh, so uh, basically, what happens? So I can tell you the result over here. So uh, so uh, what happens that uh, uh, 
for this image system like Higgs boson mass less than 500 jeb or so. So singlet like Higgs boson um, uh, can be discovered or at least it can be excluded and via this uh, gluon fusion going to the MSSM like Higgs boson and it's decaying into the uh, um, standard model like Higgs and the singlet Higgs and uh, finally it decays into 4B final state. So this is the, uh, this is the region and uh, what one could easily see that uh, the, typically for it's a 4, uh, 425 GB MSSM like Higgs boson mass. So this part of the blue shaded region can be basically uh, discovered um, uh, in, 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 in high luminosity uh, HLLAC. Okay, so now the question is that on, on the right hand side, again, I have plotted the expected upper limit uh, for uh, for this process, H going to uh, standard model like Higgs and the singlet is into 4B final state. Now there is another interesting region in this, uh, uh, in, this NM, in the NMS system. Here the singlet scalar, it could happen that the singlet scalar, because uh, it's just a, uh, it's a pre dominated by the HD and S component. So it is it has only a very tiny HU component. And if it has very tiny HU component, then gluon fusion cannot be the, uh, uh, I mean, it cannot produce this scalar. Uh, so the, then the only mechanism by which you can produce such a scalar is called a vector boson fusion. Because vector boson fusion does not rely upon uh, the uh, component of HU and HD in the, uh, in, in, in the, in the scalar. Okay, so the, and uh, this has been, uh, I have done this work. So uh, clearly on the left hand side, you can see this is the reduced value of the coupling. So uh, this coupling, I mean, um, uh, is very small um, uh, blue blue H uh, G, 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 H coupling compared to the VVH coupling and I have um, the, so uh, I the, the, the so what the ma main point is that I mean one has to go to the 2070 runs for LIC even in that case uh, probably it's not uh, this uh, huh? it's not very easy to uh, 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 to 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 find uh, uh, or to discover this region at the LIC but, I mean this has already also been uh, quoted by Vettachaji et al in the context Text of inclusive lay LAC searches. And there is another interesting way to probe such singlet scalars or this uh, 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 different mixings, you know. So this is the precision studies, you know, because this, uh, this uh, uh, it is well known that uh, the uh, the reduced couplings of this, uh, all, all these heat scalars, uh, is, it amounts to, the, its value is unity. So if one can measure the standard model like Higgs boson mass to the, the gauge boson uh, couplings in a, uh, uh, with, uh, with high precision, uh, naturally that will basically constrain the singlet scalar uh, mixing to uh, gauge bosons or MSSM like Higgs scalar mixing to gauge bosons. So this is this can be thought to be an important uh, important uh, important parameter to constrain the parameter space or or uh, to discover uh, 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 signatures for the MSSM. Okay, so now just uh, last few minutes, just uh, the dark matter sector, as I have stated, this uh, singlino can be a dark matter in the NMSSM, and here this new dark matter can be uh, by exchange of pseudoscalar can uh, uh, going to the front FF bar can be regarded as the one of the uh, uh, make sole mechanism to uh, have produce the correct relic abundance. And now the, the, uh, so these groups specific uh, uh, in the recent times uh, by Ashish Krishna Dotto and his collaborators. Uh, um, uh, and then uh, Biplop, his collaborators, so uh, they have also uh, done these studies. So, uh, so what they find that uh, that uh, neutralino can be very light; uh, it, its mass can be less than 100 jeb or even um, uh, 60 jeb. Uh, so, and also in the, the one important point is that what I found that uh, so accommodating uh, magnetic moment of electron and muon both are possible, uh, specifically for singlino or neutrino dark matter, but not in the Z3. NMSSM framework, but one has to then go to the, uh, the this uh, beyond this simple framework. Okay, so now how to uh, uh, probe these channels, this uh, light, this dark matter channel. So another interesting area of, uh, of this fermion sector, neutral fermion sector, is to that that here we will have a hexino singlino admixture. Now hexino usually tend to produce the underabundance of dark matter, but if if, uh, if it is mixed with the singlino, that then it could uh, easily lead to correct abundance. Okay. And uh, so, uh, and this channel can be probed by tri tri signatures. So, uh, 
and this channel also helps to accommodate uh, the current direct detection bound because uh, Higgs you know, uh, does not talk to uh, uh, Higgs scalar, so naturally the direct detection bound can be evaded. And so the way uh, it, it can it can be proved uh, at dialysis by trileptin signatures. But and also the, the one important point is that in the NMA system the Higgs signals are not entirely degenerate huh? because by the mixing of signal, you know, so uh, it's uh, so uh, one has to uh, one has to consider the mixing with the singlinos and this non-degenerate hexinos have been considered in atlas okay so but there was uh, there the lighter hexin was assumed to be the lsp so as i said direct detection result could fall below the neutrino flow but what we found that uh, uh, three lepton plus missing it is channel so uh, uh, so one could easily probe uh, uh, such region at least up to 600 jeb, uh, neutralino mass at the, uh, uh, at the at the high luminosity run of the LAC. Thank you. So uh, okay. Uh, thank you uh, for this uh, nice overview of uh, of the beyond MSSM. Uh, uh, we have uh, time for maybe a couple of quick questions. I cannot see anything, but uh, any hands? Can I ask a quick one, Shatiki? Uh, yes, Hima, please go ahead. Hi, Devutam. Thanks a lot for the um, nice talk. I just have a quick question. So the scenarios you're talking about in signatures you are giving, it's not like they are not uncovered right now. In no, no, that are covered. I am just, uh, I am just telling you the present status of the, huh, of the, of, of, huh. of, of NMSSM. Huh? So yeah. NMSSM means, you know, MSSM is, uh, you know, it's already covered. Huh? But yeah. NMSSM means mainly we have to focus on the singlet fermion and the singlet scalar, right? right? So the point is that what are the, what is the present status of this singlet fermion or singlet sector? Huh? And okay. what are the searches have been done theoretically and also from the experimental point of view? That's what uh, the objective uh. of my. Yeah, no, I just wanted to, okay, put, let me put the question different way that you are not suggesting there is a gap in searches or anything of that sort, right? Sorry, 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 I could not forget your point. It's not that there is any gap in the signatures we are looking for. We just have to continue looking for those with the more uh, right, data. Right, right. But okay. um, anyway, yes, uh, true. Uh, because people have started to look into these things, even uh, this uh, uh, Higgs going to four fermions or two, mm -hmm. two, uh, two gamma channels. There, people have um, uh, studied it extensively. So uh, now, uh, yes, true. Okay, but maybe we can talk sometimes in more details. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. To figure out if there is anything which is not covered or we have no, to pay attention no. to. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. If not, uh, then let's move to our uh, next speaker. Uh, our next speaker is. Uh, Professor Ravindran from Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Chennai. And uh, Ravindran needs no introduction to this audience. He uh, is an expert on uh, many areas, including most prominently on, on QCD. Uh, and, uh, and his work uh, on, uh, on Higgs cross-section is, uh, has been of particular interest. So um, let's, uh, let's hear from uh, Professor Ravindran. Uh, are you? Yeah, Satiki. Uh, thanks yes. a lot. Um, let me first uh, share my screen. Let me see whether I, it works. Yeah. Um, 